Hey everybody, this is Coach Steve with Steve Miller Golf and we're here again at Harmony Golf Reserve just answering some of the questions that I get from my clients on, hey coach, how do I play better? So how many times we face this? We've hit a decent drive, but we ended up in a fairway bunker. And I do get this question a lot, especially from my newer players is, hey coach, what do I do when I find myself in a fairway bunker? Well, remember that when you're talking about a greenside bunker, we're letting the sand get the, get the ball out of play. When we're talking about being in a fairway bunker, we've got to play it very much like a fairway shot. The only difference is we got to make sure that we hit ball contact first, because if you hit a little bit behind this, you're going to lose all kinds of speed. The golf ball is not going to get where it's got to go, and you're going to be facing potentially a more difficult shot depending on how tough the shot really is. So when you step in here, the things that you're looking for most importantly is going to be the overall distance that the ball you know, should carry. So if you said that, uh, okay, I've got a 145 yard shot and, you know, I, I need to get this one up on the green. That's great. Instead of using the club for 145, let's go ahead and go up a club. Let's use a little bit more club so that way we can, you know, really make sure that we hit it solid because we're going to stay in control and let's get the ball up there around the green. The second thing is, do I have a lip in front of me? Because we're not, you know, using the normal things that we would do, hitting it out of a fairway or even out of rough, we've got to make sure, because we're kind of picking this golf ball, that we've got enough loft to get it up and over any potential lips that we have in the edge of the bunker. So once we factor all that information in, now let's talk about the setup. It's going to be pretty easy. So when you're stepping in here, you want to make sure you have a nice, stable base. So we're going to go ahead and dig our feet in probably, oh, maybe a half an inch just to get that nice stable base. We're gonna feel like the golf ball is gonna be a little bit further back in our stance than we would from standard because we're trying to make sure we hit ball contact first. Now, because we've dug in a half an inch, I want you to choke down a half an inch on the golf club. So that way we take that risk of hitting it fat out of play. And finally, I want you to feel like your swing is a little bit wider than normal. We don't need to be folding up our arms and trying to slam into the golf ball. We want to feel like we can make a nice, comfortable sweeping motion with that golf or with the uh, golf club so that way we can make ball contact first. It may look a little like this. So we're going to go in and dig in, get that nice stable base. That's going to leave my feet really, really quiet. Ball's positioned just a little bit back from standard. I've selected that one more club and I'm gonna swing nice and wide. Hit a pretty good shot in there. You see that the divot was very, very shallow. So I definitely made ball contact first. The golf ball's up on the green and close enough that I've got a relatively simple two putt. Maybe I can make it. So the next time that you're in a fairway bunker, and I know that maybe something that you're struggling with, think about those things that we talked about of more club, stable base, putting that golf ball back in our stance so that way we can hit a solid shot. I hope this helped you. And if you have a question about this or any other part of your game, please give me a call. I'd love to help you out. And for everybody else, thanks for watching.